To determine if C2H2 ethyne is a polar or nonpolar molecule, we'll look at the Lewis structure here. This will tell us where the atoms and those electrons are arranged around the molecule, gives us an idea about the shape and therefore the polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for C2H2. One thing to note that carbon and hydrogen have very similar electronegativities. That makes us think that this is going to be a nonpolar molecule. But let's look at the structure here. So you can see that the hydrogens, they're on opposite sides of the molecule. That's due to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. Those two hydrogens have valence shell electrons around them and they're repelling each other. So the hydrogens end up being on the opposite side while still being bonded to those carbons there. When we look at this, we can see that it's a symmetrical molecule. It's a linear molecule and there's really no area where we'd have a net dipole, a concentration of charge due to an unequal sharing of valence electrons. Because of that, there's no net dipole, there's no poles, and that makes C2H2 a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B with the polarity for C2H2, and thanks for watching. Nonpolar, a nonpolar molecule.